Uh, geez, what a, what a great game. Um, I mean, we, we saw Regis, you know, for the first time in the year, the last weekend of the season, uh, about a week ago now. And, um, you know, we, we suspected that this could be the matchup that we would see in the final uh, with how good a team that they are. Um, you know, it, it very much helped us to get a goal as early as we, as we did. Um, thought we came out the way in which we needed to come out. Um, Berto, you know, on the side to start the game was, was nothing short of brilliant and uh, got his foot in, in the right place and was able to, to finish at home for that first goal and um, thought we did a good job really continuing to create chances throughout the course of the match and um, it would have certainly been nice to get the second uh, to, to put the game to rest. Um, but Regis is a, a great team and a great program and uh, we're going to certainly be rooting for them uh, come selection show tomorrow with, with who, whoever they may match up uh, against as long as it's not us. But um, they're going to do well and uh, it was a, a joy to be a part of such a great championship game. Yeah, you know, um, God, I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, Midwestern State and St. Edwards have both have, had a great season as well. Um, we haven't dropped a, get, dropped a game in two months, um, so I think that that's something that should be uh, considered by the selection show. Um, but we're certainly not gonna we're not gonna feel begrudged if we fall, fall into a three seed. Uh, we're gonna put our head down and we're gonna get better this week at training, and uh, we'll ever we'll go wherever they tell us to go, and we'll play whoever they tell us to play. And I, I think that's the mentality of this year's group. Yeah. So Moshe had the ball and he cut it in, and all the defenders missed it. And I thought I was going to hit a rocket with my right, and I'm a lefty. No, but so slow, and someone flicked the ball, just went in, slowly. <laughs> they all count the same, though. Yeah. I, geez, I mean, I, can't think, of, I think, can't think of too many games that we've had that type of goal, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, early in the year, we were creating just bags and bags of chances, but we weren't, finding the, we weren't seeing the ball hit the back of the net. So, um, to be honest, I think, if anything, we, we were at a point where we deserved a little bit of that luck come, come in our favor. So, um, it came at the right time. Yeah, you know, it feels good to get the recognition, but, you know, it feels even better to get a trophy again. Um, I think the four guys in front of me did a fantastic job to, to even earn me that title. Um, I didn't feel like I even had to do that much today um, because James McGee and Slater and Roberto and Nick Pena were, were brilliant. Um, I think they played a great game in front of me and limited what I had to do. Um, so I think it feels better to get a trophy than the recognition to me because that's what really matters is winning games. Um, and David Myers is a great goalkeeper um, to get snubbed off of the conference team, you know, it hurt a little bit, but he's a great goalkeeper. And if anyone was going to be in front of me, I'm happy it was him. Um, but, you know, I, I think the recognition will come if we keep winning games. Uh, the back line's doing a fantastic job. The guys are doing a great job scoring goals. And hopefully we'll keep, winning, uh, keep our winning ways. I, I, I think it does. Uh, I, I, I think that's exactly what it does. Um, you know, last year we played against a very, very good, experienced minds team in the RMAC championship. And... Uh, we saw that experience for them really kind of shine through. Um, there's no doubt in my mind, without those experiences that were put in last year, we do not achieve a regular season RMAC championship, and I don't think we achieve the RMAC tournament championship as well. Um, I, I think we all believe that the process of winning is learned, um, and this group last year, they learned what it's going to take to achieve championships, to continue to get into the, into the NCAA tournament, and once being in that tournament, expecting to win. Um, last year's group, I don't know that we expected to go down to Midwestern State and win. I think this year's group, wherever they're going to go, they're going to expect to win the game, and just having that winning mentality means the world. Um, now, whether it comes off in our favor or not, that's obviously yet to, yet to be decided, but you always have to approach a game with that mentality of, we will win, we are better than you. And I think this group truly believes that. Um, and we know that Midwestern State is a great team and great program. We know St. Edwards is, we know Regis is, but we're not intimidated by anybody's name on their chest this year. Yeah, I think so. You know, I think what you, one of the first things you wanna do throughout the course of the year is improve and get better each and every weekend. Um, I don't think this team has played their best soccer yet. I think that, that, is, that is, uh, that's in front of us, which is pretty exciting. Um, but you, I, I've said it all along, th this group has different attributes. They can play from ahead, but they can also play from behind. I think all of us would rather have that one nothing or 2 nothing lead, but they don't panic. Um, again, we do see signs of frustration when things aren't going our way, but that's, 
that's again a part of sport, but they always seem to manage to come together and pull the right direction, which I think great teams do. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think I was telling myself most of the second half that they're going to have one or two chances to score a goal, and they're going to have the ability to take that. Um, as a goalkeeper, I'm not, I'm not always going to be expected to do a ton of things in one game, and I'm going to be expected to do one thing in maybe the last two minutes. Um, so I, today I was able to stay switched on the entire 90 minutes, and I was ready to go whenever they were going to get a chance. And I know the back line was the same way. Um, anytime the ball was in our attacking third, I was constantly chirping at them, telling them different things just to make sure we were going to stay switched on because the only way we were going to go into overtime or lose that game is if we switched off in the back because we were up by a goal. Um, we knew that if we kept that zero that we were going to get that win. So it was just a matter of staying loud and staying involved just in case they got one little chance. Yeah, it was definitely in the back of my mind when they were throwing all nine people, 11 people into the box at the end of the game. Um, I knew that I just had to make sure everyone was organized, and I think I did that, and Slater and James did a very good job of making sure the next line in front of them were organized as well. Um, so I think collectively as a group, we were committed to the cause late in the game just to clear the ball out and secure a 1-0 win because uh, we all, I think, had in the back of our mind that Regis has that ability to scare you late in a game like that. And, and yeah, I mean, I, I don't know that Roy does anything wrong. Um, I think you got to give and – and I think that that play – speaks to what Regis is all about, right? Um, the, the, the fact that the 18 just put his head down to kick the ball off the line, down one nothing with maybe two or three minutes to go, I think shows the, the, the character and the desire that that group and that outfit has over at Regis. And um, it was a great play by the 18, and I think an equally great play by Roy. Unfortunately, just maybe needed to nudge it just a little bit harder for it to, to cross the line. But, you know, we, we know that Regis isn't going to die. They're not going to lay down, and they're going to continue to battle. And um, I think we're pretty good, that, pretty good at that as well, and, and I think we displayed that. Um, but, geez, you know, it, it would have been nice to see that second one go in, no doubt about it. We have patience and keep working hard. If we miss, like, try again. And that's why we try to get in our minds. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, because we're going to get another chance and take advantage of it. <laughs> keep going. Hey, for, for anybody that will listen, you know, when someone asks me, you know, who, who are your best players in the program, um, I think this one, Berto, has, has been a little bit of a hidden gem um, for Colorado Mesa the last couple years. Unfortunately, I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, he's, he's an exceptional player, um, and I truly believe that he can go on and, and, and be a pro if, if he continues to put his head down and work. But um, he's been special for us all year, as well as Briley. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we, we did something a little bit different with Berto this game, and we put him higher up on the field. And I think you guys saw how fast he is. Um, nobody on that field could run with him today. Um, and that was, that was great to see because we know that he's going to provide us uh, on a, a, a great player defensively, but now as he goes forward and has, as he goes more forward and we get players back, um, he's going to be a tough player to deal with, no doubt about it.